That's all what he got. So we are in the Royal Peninsula Hotel. Uh, pretty close to the moat downtown. Um, I was disgusted with that condo I did a quick video of yesterday. Um, it, it had no Wi-Fi, which 7-Eleven um, uh, fucked up and undercharged me when I went to pay my bill. That's a big thing here is you can just go to 7-Eleven, give me your phone number, and you can pay your uh, cell phone bill. So they, they undercharged me by 173 baht. And... Uh, so my phone wasn't working. I wasn't getting internet. I couldn't call out even though I had paid my bill. You know, most of it. <laughs> well, I was short 173. I didn't know. That's 7-Eleven for you. So here's the Royal Peninsula Hotel. We've actually stayed here before. I booked it a long time ago because uh, I wanted to have a tub. And this is one of the few hotels that have tubs um, in their deluxe room. I wanted to take a nice hot bath and soak, which I had done in a long time. So it used to be a buffet. This is kind of the effects of the lockdown and covid they used to have a buffet. There was uh, Thai food in the middle. Now they just got they've got some fruit like watermelon and and uh, pineapple sat below, and then the rest is like tomatoes and onions and like like the, the makings of a salad. But there's no I didn't see any um, lettuce. <laughs> so <laughs> there's your fruit. There's carrots, onions, cabbage. Uh, here's salad dressing. Here's milk and cereal, which I partook of peppers, tomatoes, but there's no, I mean, I guess you make, that's your lettuce, that's your, that's your base, yeah, right there, okay, um, orange juice, water, uh, coffee station, tea, and um, butter, jam, uh, and a toaster, uh, and that's for the thing, so all this used to be a buffet, um, with uh, scrambled eggs, sausages, bacon, ham, stuff like that. You see we're in one of uh, two, two couples here in this whole big place. So that's the lockdown. The government wanted a lockdown to keep us safe. We're safe. We're dying, but we're safe. Um, so I'm going to eat my cereal before it gets cold, but I just see yeah, I wanted to show you how that's changed. And then uh, I'll do a quick uh, shot of the room. It's it's nice. It's great. Um, I didn't make a video the first time we stayed here. I don't know why, but uh, I'll do a shot of the room. It's it's pretty cheap. We're talking 500 baht for a basic room. I uh, After the condo uh, debacle, I splurged uh, 600 baht, 20 bucks. Um, for the deluxe room with the tub, it's like 400 square feet. Um, I, you know, now that I'm um, into flipping again in condos and rentals and stuff like that, I want to see the difference between 30 square meters and 40 square meters and see how much. It, so this room is 40 square meters. So I actually booked, I spent 100 baht, ooh, $3 uh, more to get the bigger room in the tub. I did, I did soak in the tub last night. It was nice to soak in the tub. Um, but I also wanted to see what 40 square meters look like because there are some condos going for 40 and I wanted to see the difference between that and the one that I bought. I will do a whole separate video on the uh, condo that I'm allegedly supposedly closing today because it's 9 o'clock and I don't know if we're going to close today or not um, because of rules and regulation. Government. Needs to, I'm quickly becoming a libertarian, which is like anti-government or low government or small government because <laughs> it's a fucking pain in the ass to buy property here for for farang only ties no problem it's all about me being a farang and, and money laundering and drugs and all that kind of crap um it, it's it's crazy I, like i said i'll do a whole separate video on this i just wanted to show you what the buffet which is not a buffet anymore so now you have three choices and you order off a menu and then what the, the little thing in the middle so COVID, 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 putting this little time stamp on everything. And really, once again, I want to be careful to say not COVID because that's a fucking disease. It's got no brain. It's got no power. It's the government. It's the government and the lockdown and, and their way of dealing with COVID that caused all this and all the other shit it's caused. So that's it. Royal Peninsula Hotel. I'll put a link uh, to where it's at in the description. Uh, we had Shabu last night. The buffet she loves buffet all you can eat she's an eater it's right across the street so that's cool too that's another plus for this location all right so back at the royal peninsula this is the american breakfast three chicken dogs bright orange a couple pieces of toast uh two pancakes and some eggs um 
and Maggie, of course. We got to have Maggie, must have Maggie. She got pork, spicy, <laughs> with a little green vegetable this morning, Glory, in there, and a big bright. Her egg looks a lot better than my egg, I'm just saying. <laughs> And uh, cow, of course, she's got to have cow uh, rice every day. It's a must. So that's the breakfast. Um, like I said, there was three choices. She chose rice and pork, of course. That's what she eats pretty much every day. And I chose, I don't know what this is in the middle for here. Uh, syrup, okay, that's syrup for the pancakes. Um, and I chose the American breakfast. We're an American breakfast. We're an American breakfast. We're coming to your town. We'll help you party it down. We're an American breakfast. Okay, Sawa fucking D. Fire escape plan. It's needed in every hotel. Do not disturb. A little uh, uh, remote for the uh, AC. <coughs> Comes with a little tiny Thai woman in bed. Hello, little tiny Thai woman in bed. So a D cup. Mm-hmm, chai. Yeah, she doesn't want to be bothered. I don't blame her. A crooked painting. And a funky 1970s wallpaper. One window, two windows. So this is what, um, it's a, an adjoining room in case you want a suite or something, but we don't. The Tiwi, big long desk. Put all your crap on. That's where I made my little morning video. Great my Buddha coffee pot. A uh, little seating area. That's the kind of thing that you wouldn't get, you know, normally. There's that extra little desk area over there and a little seating area. And in most rooms, there's not room. So you can see where the 40 uh, square meters of 410 square foot, you get a little bit more refrigerator. They came with bottled water. They had all the fixings for... I don't know where it went, but they had all the fixings for uh, coffee. Oh, down there, she moved it so she could reach it. Because she literally could not reach the top. Hashtag four foot nine problems. So I guess that's like a little makeup thing. She's got her little mirror there, the big mirror there. Uh, and then, like I said, the little footstool. Uh, big wardrobe with a robe. Uh, and you can see the, the outside view of the room. Not little balcony, little small balcony you can sit out on. Uh, there's a hotel across the street. There's a little vendor there. Not a very good picture. Sorry about that. But, you know, not much of a, a view there. Um, yeah, pretty big. I mean, it's, a lot of the space isn't really used. Um, you know, but whatever. It's extra room. Let's see if we can see out the window here without getting a vicious flare or reflection. Yeah, kind of. Uh, you can see how dirty the friggin' window is with with that. You can't see it with the naked eye. But yeah, it's like a little... That's not the moat. That's just like a, a drainage thing out there, the water. You know, it's again, shitty picture. And the, the light is reflecting off of it. So here's the restroom. Turlet. Uh, bum gun, of course, is always a bum gun. Um, big ass mirror, decent sink, almost again, the uh, patterns out of like a 1970s thing. There's your bum gun. I know you all love to see the, the hose that squirts up your ass. Uh, old, um, water heater. <laughs> that's a, that's an old friggin' model, definitely not new, and kind of a smallish. Um, you remember in the last place I stayed, they had a really good shower with the super hot water pressure and all that's that's not this, uh, but it is a tub. So I did soak in it last night and had a lot of fun sitting there with my little bubble bath. Um, so this is the Royal Peninsula Hotel. Pretty good location, has parking. You know, well, there you go. That's why you, you spent 5,000 baht <laughs> for three nights normally. But once again, um, COVID, Lockdown, whatever you want to call it. So um, I paid 686 baht a night, like a little over 20 bucks. Less, 20, what's uh, 86 baht? So three, 23, like $23 a night, you know, plus tax and crap. So after the uh, condo that didn't have anything, no Wi-Fi, no TV, this, this gets the local channel. So she's happy. Um, this was this was the answer. Two nights at 23 bucks. Uh, cured what ailed us so nice little place it's it's okay it's decent 
and especially now for the money, um, you know, it's a good deal.